Stevie's Creole Cafe, one of the best spots in LA. I'm calling it right now. My guest today, again, June James. Yeah, I'm back, man. The last spot was dope. If you can see this spot's dope, man. Come fuck it. This spot been around since 99, bro. So we're gonna get in there, bro. Just man, I've been home six, so I hope this can definitely give me a, you know, feeling it back home, you know? Let's, Let's get it. Thank you. We got gumbo yep. that has um, crab legs in it, shrimp, and dewy sausage, smoked chicken, and beef holly. What you thinking about the look off the rip? I ain't allowed to live the presentation. Presentation. All the stuff you mentioned. Yeah, that's a full reach. Oh, you're going right for the shrizzin. <laughs> I'm going to die. It's like Thanksgiving Day. Family style, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting low. Real, real fancy bread. I do got a shrimp. Little, little oil, a little basil, a little parsley. You know what I'm saying? And a flavorful sauce, season or whatever, just to get, you know, give it that extra accoutrement. You know what I'm saying? Kiss it. That's on fire gumbo. We from Texas, so you know what I'm saying? To be out in Cali eating some good gumbo, it's the full ladle right here. The full ladle. You got some spice in there, a little bit of pepper. Now the whole thing popping. The sauce is just like. The rice, how you cook the rice? Okay. No, okay. Gumbo, come gumbo, you gotta cook the rice perfect. That shit can be muddy, sticky, right. soft. Look, man, the rice shot. I've got some cornbread too. We have a oh, banana cornbread oh, 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 and then man. traditional cornbread with peach cobbler butter. Tell them about this butter. Y'all ain't ready for this butter. Peach cobbler butter? Yeah. Oh, you run it back. <laughs> and then oh, this is our smoky fried chicken. So oh, bruh. Oh, Lightly smoked chicken that we deep fried. With macaroni and cheese and greens. Oh, there's a banana cornbread and then traditional cornbread with a cornbread. Now, y'all gotta understand this right here, bro. I know that this is equivalent to a diamond breakfast. Asian fried crab legs. Oh. Has a garlic butter and then it's a spicy ranch with a rumlet on the side. Oh. Ooh. And it has um, smoked chicken, shrimp, and dewy sausage, and then bell pepper, onion, and mushroom, and then a Cajun cream sauce. <laughs> it's gone, bro. The old place disappeared in front of my eyes, bro. You're going with the green place. Ain't a lot of talking. That's how you know the food's hanging, bro. Uh oh, we got someone going for the crab legs on prep. Is that how you do it? <laughs> is it heavy? Oh yeah. And this is my first cool crab leg. I'll be life. Mm -hmm. My mom used to have a restaurant, so like, uh -oh. when it comes to food, like, I, I know what it's supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. Ah, hey, 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 hey. I must say, hey. I must say, hey. Let this man shine. Give him some respect, you know what I'm saying? Joe, you got any advice for producers coming up? Man, get the fuck out of the studio, you know what I'm saying? Don't get tired of making like 20, 30 beats a day. Go out there, you know, fetch your prayer, make sure you got the, the best equipment you can, you know, for and keep stacking and keep investing in yourself when it comes to equipment and sounds and shit like that. But besides that, go out here, you know, move like you're a rapper or something, you know what I'm saying? Go to these studios, go over these labels and shit. Travel from coast to coast, you know, selling their product, which is your beats. Build relationships. Build relationships in so many words. Fellas over here, they eat. I don't even know if they got it. Don't ever get too comfortable. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm pretty much gonna say the same okay. thing. Step outside your comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? Do something different than you are in there. Like I always catch different vibes. These are peach beignets. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they're like stuff with a peach powder type of juice, been dusted with um, cream sugar, oh, and then yeah. traditional beignets and powdered sugar. Yes, wow. yes. Uh, I never even had these, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what beignets are. You know that beignet? It's like knowing that peach is crazy. I want to eat it. Look at that. It's got moist on the inside, bro. I wasn't expecting that. Nah, it's packed with flavor too. I'm gonna help this shit, so I like it one, but if I wasn't gonna help this shit, big old glass of milk. Wait, I might take down three or four. <laughs> Ten. Rating time. The scale goes up to 9.9. .9. Newcomer, Bobby, doesn't know that. The scale on the top is 9.9, .9, alright? So, Junior, you wanna kick it off? 
I wanted to give it like a 11 or a 12, but this nigga's on my 9.9, so. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, this is please. a peach cobbler ice cream. We make she done had ice cream. It's, it's an 11 for me. <laughs> his, okay. his, his scaling system needs to be changed because every time he does, puts this in the position, we always have to change it up with another nice express that picks <laughs> it to another level. level, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna get an 11, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> not point nine. Go with, <laughs> with this? Peach and peach, bro. Get after it, bro. You dunked it? Yeah, you got a big one. Yeah. I got some. Oh, my God. Oh, peach, shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> Right, you got the prior. Over. Y'all missing out. Randall, what we got? Another jumper. All the way. Another jumper. Bobby. Yeah, you gotta ask me. Robert, man. That's what you get. I'm sorry, but it was like fucked up. It's not really as bad as you think it is. That's what you get for messing with Randall. That's karma. That was yeah. probably that did not do that. But I've never messed with you on your clothes. <laughs> I know, but that's karma. Karma come back you know, in different camera. shapes and sizes. Good job. Because you're about to make <laughs> a put it on his own. You're going to take us to the next level. Ooh. You know, you're going to take us to the next level. You're going to take us to the next level. You're going to take us to the next level. You're going to take us to the next level. When it came out of the pan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm fine, bro. Stay here, bro. Stay here, bro. Nah, you're good. Stay here. I'll probably drop that on my self. Stay here. Yeah, you also. You just like that. Today really ain't been your day, bro. Damn. Oh, 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 oh
What? This right here, the perfect amount of crunch. The chicken is still juicy. There's still a pull on it, a tear. A little bit of a crumble on this part, the crispiness. That's always a go. It has a kick, it has a nice herbal sense to it as well. Yeah, this don't even need a hot shot. Jalapeno honey, never had it. Jalapeno cooking for sure. You see the herbs on top, okay? It's cut with precision, so all the sauces soak right in. Like the herbs, I'm not mad at it. I'm rocking with it heavily. Smoky, flavorful, worth every single bite right there. Also packed with flavor, and it peels apart perfectly. If it doesn't peel apart with something like this, you gotta run it back. Thank you. You gonna take a picture with me? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm always down you know, to take I just got a picture. my eyebrows down a little bit like last it's night. All good. I'm looking like a chola. She's looking fresh. <laughs> picture time, y'all. For sure. Take, there we go. Let the people see. 9.3. That's your rating. That's solid. 9.3? 9.3 3 out of 9.9. I still don't go to 10. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I never, I never seen the 10 in my life. So. I'll take a 9.3 any day.